When I was in high school, there are a few numbers that were always in front of me, numbers that if I hit them, I'd be deemed successful. I needed 32 ACT, a 2300 on the SAT, a 4.0 GPA, and a 92 in each of my classes to maybe get into the college of my dreams. I was supposed to go to school from eight to three to grind it to get into a college where I'd rack up 100K in debt, only to graduate to get a job making 40K, grinding from nine to five. I was supposed to graduate at 18, graduate at 22, get married at 26, and have kids by 30. And that's all to live the dream. One house, two kids, two car garage, one dog, one cat, one fish, and a hamster if you're that kind of family. <laughs> but that's life for some folks. And a lot of folks smile doing it. But for me, I wanted to hustle and build. The problem is the only hustle we see is in TV, in movies, in books are glorified in such an unfathomable way. The easiest way out is just by following society's model. And I fell for that for a bit. I did the Beta Club, the National Honor Society, the Mayor's Youth Council, and any other application builders out there. But I was chasing quotas, not happiness. But that's when I found hip hop, that sweet industry that's lived, envied, idolized, and frowned upon. But there's no rule book on how to do hip hop. Sure, there was hip hop that was active in my hometown, but I was on the wrong side to be a part of it. It certainly didn't help that I was raised to be a good old boy duck hunting on the weekends. <laughs> See, my family consists of Southerners, business minds, and a little bit of New York savvy because my pops is a Yankee from Brooklyn. My mom, she was a heck of a singer in a church choir, but she wasn't into hip hop. But me, I said, I'm gonna make rap music. So I did. In ninth grade, me and my buddy put together our first rap CD. It was terrible. <laughs> People bought it because they thought it was a joke. They thought that we should just give up doing music and that I was just a wannabe Eminem. And I thought about that, but I ignored the high school chatter, and I made this my passion. And I took Eminem's lyrics to heart, and I got lost in the moment. The same way many of you get lost with technology or social media or sports or fashion, or heck, maybe some of you still want to be a politician. You know, for me, I saw a passion. I took the spark, and I worked my tail off to get good at rapping. But it took some help. I found a hip hop after school program in my hometown where I got to pick the minds of the mentors endlessly. They taught me how to write, promote, record, produce, throw shows, and by the end of it, I was able to build my own brand through hip hop, and it worked. In my final year of high school, I could have go, caught senioritis. I could have just, you know, let the weather get warm. My college applications were in, and the ladies were looking oh so lovely. <laughs> but I was hungry. Hip hop was in my veins. I was throwing shows, I was recording an album, and I was always pushing to get my face in the media. It was shameless and it was beautiful. After a few years, I wanted to step up the passion to the next level. So when I was in college, I dipped over to South Africa for six months and got lost, or maybe found. For me, I went over there and I learned about a completely new culture, and I got exposed to hip hop from a completely different lens. By the end of my time there, I was running my own radio show for a hip hop station. And I also was doing shows on stage with dudes rapping in Kosa and Zulu. And so with hip hop, like anything else, you can use the fears and unknowns as obstacles or you can embrace it. I did, and it's led me to some pretty dope places. So many doors have been opened. So many skills have been gained. And so many people I've connected with, all because of hip hop. The savvy I've gained from my journey has been amazing. And so with that, you know, I think about the passion that I have and that, uh, you know, there was a spark that opened in front of me. That hip hop is an art, it's a craft, but it's more than that. It's poetry, it's entrepreneurship, it's a lifestyle, it's a mindset. It's the difference between me and the next man. I found a spark and I followed the flame. And that flame lit up the world around me. When I thought about the numbers that I showed you earlier, I thought about mine. And it's just one. You can use society's numbers and you'll be cool, or you can make your own and have a heck of a lot more fun with it. I'm still growing, but I found a spark and I'm gonna run with it. And to show you I've got the spark, we might as well just drop the beat. 
Let's go. Fresh out the gay like weeds out the garden. No government, so thus no pardon. Loaded with a cauldron, a cauldron, a hot damn. Put on a red light, come and Mr. Roxanne. Ooh, came home with a bitty. Eyes got big, flipping tails in the city. Candy went sour, tasted so sweet, so I feel every single urge with a quick tweet. Impulse rash to do a bit of everything, so I had pass. Back to the game like whoa. Spring loaded and engaged. Turn cows down like new school replays. Hey, don't like the results? Get your green up like a ripped off coke. Whoa, whoa. Double up like bubble girls, got a little pep off, so I'm never fed up, yeah. Word to that, keep the beat wet, bird bath, greased up like a pig in a mud pit, drank on the tea song about Bubba Compass, hungry for the shirt on the biscuits, ain't no thing, the earth is delicious, taste that, gon' swallow that down, full belly, so what to do now? Digest, amped up like so ballistic, true to myself, I'll be my own mistress, ayy. And I can't even stop there, be damned if the mirror's where I get my cold stairs. Step up or step out, two new worlds, but it's still a dirty south. <laughs> Hip hop not only saved my life in high school, it made my life. So whatever your spark is, follow it. The flame won't be far off. I'm Max. Thanks.